Hello everybody, I'm excited to show you some of the changes in the newest version of Plotter. The first one is that the dashboard has been merged into the project window for easy access. So now here you can click this person icon and see the your current projects, the account information, and help. So you can get all your help information, all your account information, settings, backups, the about to be able to check for updates, and you can get into your projects very easily. You can create new ones and look at all your recent ones. If we go back to the account menu, you may have noticed the Start Plotter Pro button. Now Plotter Pro is something we're very excited to tell you about soon, but for now you can click this Learn More button and be added to the waitlist. Here in Settings, there's a new setting to control how the dashboard behaves. So the default is that the dashboard will be the first thing that you see when you open Plotter. So if I were to close this right now, and to reopen Plotter, you'd see the dashboard pops up. But if I go change that setting, so that my most recent project is the first thing that I see, Now when I reopen Plotter, the project I was just working on is what you see first. We've also changed the file menu so that it's easier to get to your recent projects. With one click, you can open any of your recent projects. You can also create a blank project or a project from a template or open an existing file right here from the file menu so it's a lot easier. And last but not least, a feature that a lot of people have been waiting for, and that is being able to drag and drop a whole scene stack at once. So we've got this scene stack here in chapter one. We can drag it all together if we want. We just collapse it there and I can drag it down here. And then I can expand or collapse. I can drag it back, of course, and see it. There's a lot more things that are coming in the works that we're excited about, but that's all for today. Thanks.